Hi and welcome to my tutorial of my automatic skinning script. First of all I want to say that uh, this script can only be used for mechanical rigs. I've made a test project to show you how it works. This is a mechanical leg I, uh, I put up here. Now let's open my script. Um, now in order to um, make a fully working rig it has to be aligned correctly to the corresponding mesh but uh, in order to do this you have to you must have independent meshes so let's click uh, detach selected now you have individual meshes um, next step would be to set up your bone structure i've already did this uh, it's fully rigged and it's uh, it's working correctly as you can see um, okay the next step would be to uh, link the correct meshes to um, the the mesh to the correct bone, like so. So if you move your uh, rig, uh, the meshes are moving with it. Now I've already did this for uh, the whole mesh. Okay. As you can see, everything moves correctly, but these are still uh, independent meshes. So here comes uh, the skinning process. You see two lists, uh, one list that contains the bones and another list that contains the meshes. All you have to do is um, unhide your bones, select them all and add them to this list. Next step is to select all your meshes and add them to this list and execute uh, step one of the skinning process. Now what this does is it attaches all the meshes that are linked to um, one bone. Once this is done you can move on to step 2. Okay, the skinning is completed. As you can see, this is one complete mesh with a skinning modifier attached to it. Um, now if we go look into this skinning modifier, and we zoom in a little bit, we can see that um, it's correctly the weights are correctly set to 1 to the bones. Now, if you go look at the weights table, you can see it's uh, cleaned up, so there are no uh, zero values or other values uh, stored. There are only uh, value 1 uh, to the correct bone. Okay, now I'm going to make a mistake now on purpose, so I'm going back uh, to the start. Let's say um, you're busy with linking, but you've linked um, a mesh not to a bone, but uh, for example, let's link this to another mesh, like this. Okay, and um, you're not aware that you made a mistake. Let's open my script again. Okay, and repeat the steps. Um, select all your bones and add them to this list. Now select all your meshes and add them to the next list and do the next step. Now you get a warning that says that a mesh is not correctly linked to a bone and it will select the mesh that is not correctly linked. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, uh, I hope it comes in handy. Thank you for watching.